I want us to focus on this new discovery of the name of God that was given to Abraham because it has everything to do with our living and overcoming life. Listen to me closely. If you've been having a struggle, you've been living in guilt and shame and fear because you say, I can't overcome my besetting sin. I want you to listen close now because there is a freedom for you this morning. Even though yet you don't have the victory, if you'll lay hold of this revelation that God gave to Abraham, this revelation not only to him but to the church of Jesus Christ, he'll deliver you and set you free. He sacrificed his lamb, this ram. Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Now, Here's a new discovery, the greatest discovery God ever gave to this man and humankind. It means the Lord who sees. In our language, it means God will see to it. It also includes provision. The scripture says God's promised to supply all our needs. All our needs to be supplied in Christ Jesus, the Bible said. This is a revelation. You'll have missed it if you think it's it, Jehovah Jireh. It's just to put food on your table. God... He's your father. He does that out of his fatherhood. He does that out of his, his love. But Jehovah Jireh here is something else. God is saying, now look down to all these promises I've made to you, who I am, that I am all sufficient. I have given you covenant promises. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I've given you this promise that I'll send you the Holy Ghost. I'll put my fear in your heart. All the covenant promises. I'll be a shield to you. No enemy is overcoming. He's talking about spiritual enemies. He's talking about demons and devils and temptation. He said, I'm going to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to cause you to walk in my ways. God giving us all these promises. He says, now I have them. I've given them to you. I've revealed them to you. Now I'm going to reveal myself to you as Jehovah Jireh. I'm going to see to it. I'm going to see to it that you have all the power you need in the moment of temptation. I'm going to see to it that you have everything you need, all the provisions to keep my word. And folks, I want you to know something. Over every commandment, every demand that God makes of us regarding holiness, righteousness, and walking uprightly, over above every demand, he has written, Jehovah Jireh, I will see to it. I will see to it. Glory to God in the highest. What if Abraham had doubted? What if he'd say, well, God, this is too, this is too much. I can't handle it. You mean all you want of me is my faith, my confidence? I don't have to make you a bunch of promises. When he said to Abraham, I want you to walk perfectly, means uprightly before me. I want you to walk uprightly before me. They that know thy name will put their trust in thee. The name of Jehovah is a strong tower. The righteous run into that name and is set on high. You run into the name. You run into the security of the name of God, the names of God. You run into the security. Let me tell you how strongly it is. In the Hebrew, it all infers this very strongly. Listen closely, please. When God has revealed his names to us, we're to run into the security of those names, be fully persuaded of them, and risk our very life at it. And the Bible said he pledges his very existence on fulfilling these promises. He said, I'm Jehovah Jireh. And this, the word really is all hidden here. It totally infers in all of these covenant promises and in the new covenant itself. God says, I have committed all that I am, all that I have to keep you by my grace. Oh God, ignite our faith. Put fire under our faith. Lord, for those that are wavering in their faith and some who feel that God has forgotten them or God has not been acting as swiftly as they think He should. Oh, Holy Spirit, help us to rest in who You are. Our great Jehovah Jireh, we thank You for the revelation of who You are. You're going to keep us from falling. You're not going to let the enemy take advantage of us. Oh, God, you're going to come just in time. Just in time and see to it that we not only are maintained, but we are maintained in great grace, exceeding great promises of God. Hallelujah. Not just conquerors, but more than conquerors.